Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be fun because we connected and collaborated with Outrider USA. They've got their own YouTube channel. They're a company out in Asheville, uh, North Carolina, and they make these modular vehicles for uh, people who have been injured in motocross riding, mountain biking, um, maybe been injured in the military and you're a paraplegic, you don't have, you can't ride a, a traditional bike, uh, maybe you got other injuries, and they make this bike, so they've got different versions. I am riding their Coyote model. Uh, it's got four wheels on it, it's all electric. It gets up to 20 miles an hour. This thing's so much fun. Uh, we've been out here at Edwards Point. Check out this beast, that's a, of a vehicle that I'm riding. It doesn't even look that big. It's about six and a half feet long without the footrest, so from front of the tire, back of the tire. It's almost three feet wide. This thing's a blast, man. This It's all hand controls. Um, brakes on both sides control each tire, so it's not just front and back, it's left and right. Uh, so that took a little bit of getting used to. Let's get back to some of these videos, guys. I, am, I have been loving riding this thing. I've been putting this thing through the ring out here at Edwards Point. It's all off-road vehicle trails, ATV trails. And it's actually a dirt bike I can hear kind of coming up behind me. They, this is, I'm having so much fun. After this, I'm going up to Benton Falls in the Ocoee area. And we're going to ride some of the trails out there. Travis is going to join me for that. And we're going to bring his mountain bike out and just have some fun uh, with these. So <laughs> let's get back to the trails, guys. Thanks for watching. And to make sure to check out Outrider USA both online on their website and on their YouTube channel. Uh, they custom order these as well. So if you want something specific and uh, kind of connecting between some of their different models, that's no problem. And uh, let's get back to it again. What else we pulled up the electric vehicles is a big burden to get more adventures out on the trail and explore more trail. These are very adaptive and they help physically disabled get out and explore. Riders will expand for you and use it for us. All which depend greatly on the type of train riding, the motor sizes, and the increased battery capacity, which do go longer rides. <laughs> they do also offer a financing option for 360 miles per hour, so if you want more details about the financing options, just check out the website, <laughs> outridersusa.com. on this camera we've been able to get some good uh we've been able to get some good shots of this so um this is a blast i would love to get a bunch of these take out the family take out some buddies um i know they gear this towards uh they originally kind of designed these around the people who've had injuries paraplegics people who can't ride bikes or dirt bikes or things anymore but this thing is eating up this terrain like no problem at all um, some of these rocks and roots and all this stuff, I was thinking it was going to be an issue or maybe I was going to slide a little bit. It's just trucking through everything like crazy. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just about a mile in. This is a blast. Let's keep...
know how deep that was going to be. Woo! It's got a nice bath. <laughs> and I got soaked. Woo! Oh yeah! <laughs> We got some trouble. The throttle stopped working. Um, so on here is the uh, there's this light. When it's red, that means it's an idle. Blue is like the low speed, and green is high speed. Um, but when I was coming around that corner, so I have this. When I turn it on, I know it's just the lights off completely. And yeah, as I kind of play with this throttle, you can almost see like. It's kind of playing around with that, but nothing's happening. So we might be in trouble because we're a couple miles out. This is not not good. Before I start my uh, content on day two, I wanted to reiterate that this is a uh, prototype model based on an outdated chassis and powertrain. The Coyote vehicle uh, in this video is the first of its kind. was built on a 2016 Horizon platform. Uh, the models that Outrider USA is releasing today is now, I think, I believe on their fourth generation, um, 2021 updates, uh, which has fixed all of the issues that I experienced in this video. Uh, the disconnection in the relay box with the throttle and the charging issues uh, that I experienced, which you'll probably see more of shortly uh, for my day two, uh, all of that was even fixed in their Gen 3 updates. Uh, this this all occurs from just strong vibrations, lateral motions, which obviously you guys have been able to tell I, I experienced a lot of that uh, on these trails, just bouncing around uh, just from side to side. Just, it was some rough terrain that I put the, the vehicle through, and I think I was even getting up to 18, 19 miles an hour on that trail. So I was definitely moving pretty quick, and this is not a knock on Outrider USA at all. I just wanted to be transparent in my video with what I experienced, uh, but I also want to make sure that this company is represented properly. And that's why I'm making this little kind of blurb, this little note uh, here in my video. So stick around, check out day two. We still had a lot of fun, even though it didn't get to ride a whole lot. And it was kind of disappointing in the moment. Uh, but check it out. It's it's fun. It's a cool vehicle. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get to test ride some more of their vehicles in the future. Maybe some more updated ones so I don't experience this. And uh, maybe we'll get to kind of try around and uh, play around with some more stuff. But do check out Outrider USA, um, their website, their YouTube channel. Uh, I know they've got a lot of stuff happening that's going on in their business, a lot of good things. You're probably going to start seeing a lot, the, a lot of these more in the future. If you guys do have any questions, uh, do reach out, and hopefully I'll be able to help. If I can't help you, I can at least direct you to someone who can. So, so we made it back out here to Benton Falls. We're on the Clemmer Trail here in Ocoee. Um I think this might be part of the Chihaui trail system. Not really sure, but took it out to Edwards Point yesterday. Out here now. I had some issues with this charging though yesterday. Overnight, I had it plugged in and it just wasn't grabbing the charge. So I'm hoping we get better luck today and hopefully we can get some good riding in before the battery dies on us. We're just working our way up the mountain. Once we get to the top, we'll actually have a waterfall view. We actually got a tow strap held on to the to this to this car, to the vehicle, and we got Travis behind me with his bike. <laughs> I'm pulling him up the mountain with this thing. I mean, it's that one little corner left. Have you been watching it just drop, 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 drop? Yeah. So unfortunately, we, we're working our way up to Benton Falls so we can see the waterfalls up at the top. We've been pulling Travis on the bike <laughs> to try to help him up this huge climb. We're about halfway up, but this battery, it just hasn't been charging. Um, when I picked it up yesterday, um, it was like 90% full. I rode around the neighborhood and I was able to charge it. We take these caps off. I think I showed you guys in an uh, earlier clip of me kind of just charging it. Unscrew this, you just plug it into the outlet, no big deal. And it did charge it up a little bit. Um, I'd only had a little bit to go, but 
last night I had it charging all night and it didn't charge at all. We uh, set it up on the, uh, like what, an outlet on your, in your car? Yeah. And it didn't charge either on the way out here. And we've got this little notch left. So we're probably gonna let Travis kind of ride it a little bit going down the mountain. Um, Cause unfortunately it's just not charging. It's supposed to only take, you know, an hour per battery to charge. There's two batteries in there. So it should take two hours to fully charge and it's not charging anything unfortunately so um don't know what's going on um i contacted my rep just haven't heard from him yet to see if he has any pointers um unfortunately our day might be getting cut short still got some battery in there it's it's just dropped a little bit like we expected but oh that's nice <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I don't, it just sucks driving all the way out here and then having this happen. Just kind of disappointed, that's all. Ride got cut short, unfortunately, just because of the uncertainty around the battery. So it looks like the, the light turned off again up here. That happened yesterday because the, I guess the relay box got bounced loose. And since we've been going through some rough terrain right here, it probably happened again. Right now we're just all coasting. We're not even using the, uh, the throttle, so I'm just going to avoid using the brake unless it kicks back on. The relay box, I guess, is like an old prototype that they've gotten rid of, but it's still on this one, that if the vibrations can loosen it up and loosen the connection, I guess, or something. So that may have been what happened. But yeah, so just now it happened again when I was going through all that rock garden. So that's why I didn't stop earlier because oh. I was just letting the hill. And honestly, now I probably could have made it all the way down the hill without coasting, but I didn't see you and well, like I didn't know if something happened. So I kind of was stopping to wait, but. Well guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video with what we were able to get. Unfortunately, uh, just unable to get the, the car charging uh, anymore. Um, talking with some of the reps and the mechanic, um, Tommy, I guess with, is his name over with Outrider USA. He was saying that probably a lot of the vibrations and all the heavy terrain that I was probably going through uh, just kind of shuck everything loose and yeah, just disconnected where the charging port is. The charging port's like right in here. I hear everything running, but maybe it's just not connected to uh, the battery of some sort. And I could probably try to unscrew every single one of these, um, pull this out and then see if I can connect it. But honestly, they're picking it up tomorrow and I'm not able to take it out anymore today. Unfortunately, we're just with our schedule. And so it was kind of a disappointment Today would have been a lot of fun. You guys saw some footage already in the video of the uh, Benton Falls. Uh, this is a prototype. They've mentioned that too. So there's probably just things that they need to work on. And uh, But in a way, this video is good for them because it'll be able to help them kind of see hopefully some ways to improve their product. And uh, one of the biggest things I think would be a huge improvement for this is uh, potentially better suspension. Um, I know that I was going over through some rough terrain. I was going pretty quick, so that seemed kind of rough. However, I think if there was just better um, joints potentially in the arms here to just allow potentially just more fluid movement. But also if these handles were potentially up and more flat, so they came up and turned, I think that would be most ideal. So you're almost kind of gripping this way rather than that way. And the reason is because I actually kind of tore up the left side of my hand pretty good when I was gripping here and I might be turning and then the wheel with the suspension comes up and hits my hand. And so the wheel would actually hit my hand quite often. Um, and it rubbed it raw actually when I was out riding it yesterday. So charging, the whole thing around the suspension here, and then just kind of the throttle issue I had, 
That is related to a relay box, which is then on this side. And apparently it's just all around the vibrations. I guess I was just going through too rough a terrain uh, where I was having some issues, but I was able to bang it kind of back in place on this side, just smacking things around. Kind of a crude uh, way of doing things and probably not the most ideal. Um, so I think there are some improvements. I do think this has a lot of potential. These do range uh, quite a bit in price, depending on what all you're looking for and how many batteries you're looking for and everything, whether you want all electric or just a pedal assist, or if you want like the all wheel drive version, which has like all four wheels in here, or if you want uh, just more of the trike, uh, trike style, two in the front, one in the back. So there's a lot of different variations and it's all very modular. I think this has great potential, like I said. Um, I think a lot of the, some of the trails I rode on was a lot of fun, I had a blast. But I think um, there are some improvements and this is a prototype, I've already mentioned that multiple times, but I wanna make sure you guys are aware of that uh, because this company, they, they gear it towards uh, paraplegics, people have been injured. And I think some of these people who got injured in motocross accidents or maybe mountain biking accidents or anything, they wanna be able to enjoy some of these trails fully. Like uh, today with Travis, it would have been a blast to kind of showcase this, like if I was someone who wasn't able to ride a mountain bike anymore, being able to actually take this on some of the trails that he'd be able to ride his bike on as well and be able to ride together. Something I probably would have never been able to do in the past, uh, but this vehicle has that option. And this trail, this, this uh, vehicle, the Coyote model of the Outrider USA was fully capable of that but because I wasn't able to maintain the charge or even get it charging, it prevented me from being on the trails. Um, so hopefully we're able to get some of those things fixed. I hope this was helpful for you guys to actually see some of the review uh, firsthand from myself as a user. Um, I wasn't trying to do anything crazy. I wasn't hitting any jumps or anything like that, but I was you know, trying to just ride the trails and have some fun. So anyways, if you'd like some more information, do always check out their website, outriderusa.com. They've also got a YouTube channel as well that you guys can check out. And if you guys have any questions, reach out in the comments. I'll help out as much as I can. I might have missed something in the videos. And, and if not, I have uh, I can reach out to uh, my rep and some of the guys that are over there that helped me with this. So uh, at that, guys, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, you okay? You just holding on? Are you having fun? Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, tell the camera how much fun it is. It's how fun it is. Say, are you having so much fun? Yeah. You want to go really fast? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Let's sit back.